This is the Galaxy Note 10 and today I'll show you how to remove a forgotten pin, password or pattern from this phone. Now to do this you'll need to perform a hard reset on this phone and what a hard reset does it basically removes this pin, password or pattern. However you're going to require to use the Google account that is signed into this phone to be able to set up the phone afresh. So just to recap, you're going to need to hard reset this phone and you're going to need the Google account that is signed in to this phone to be able to set it up afresh. Now to do this, you'll need two, th two things. One, you're going to need a data cable, any data cable for that matter. It can be the one that came in the box, type A to type C, or the most modern data cables that are type C to type C. And you're also going to need a computer. So you're going to need a computer, be it Windows, uh, Mac or Linux. And these are the items that are going to help you hard reset your phone. So to get started, you'll need to connect your data cable to your computer, like so. And the other end of the data cable, you'll need to connect it to the charging port. So this phone has type C, like modern, modern smartphones. So connect the type C end to it. And as you can see, it's already connected. So the next thing you're going to need to do is uh, find the volume rockers on the side key. And on the Note 10, all of them are on the same side. This is the volume up button, the volume down, and this is the side key. So what you're going to need to do to uh, hard reset your phone is press the volume down and the side key simultaneously until the Note 10 turns off. And once it turns off, you're going to immediately switch to the volume up button and this phone is going to boot up in recovery mode. So once in recovery mode, you're going to be able to perform your hard reset. So press the side key and volume down button simultaneously, ignoring everything that is happening on the screen until it turns off, the screen goes dark. And once it goes dark, immediately switch to the volume up button without releasing the side key. So let's do this together. So as you can see, the phone is on. So you're going to press the side key and the volume down button simultaneously like that. Ignore everything happening on the screen, including the power off menu. Once it goes off, switch to the volume up button like that. And once it boots into recovery mode, this is what you're going to see. You can let go of the buttons and now in recovery mode, you will not be able to use your touch screen. So you will have to use the volume rockers to navigate through the menus and the side key to select the menu that you want. So for us, we want to perform a hard reset. So we're going to scroll down using the volume down rocker until we get to wipe data stroke factory reset. Then we are going to use our side key to select that option. And then use your volume rockers once again to highlight the factory data reset option. Now you're going to be warned that uh, this is going to wipe all your user data and all data on this device is going to be wiped. If your SD card is encrypted, all data stored on your SD card will also be lost. So you're going to lose everything. The only thing that is going to remain is the Google account that is signed in to this phone. The one that we said you're going to need your password to set up afresh. So select the factory data reset option like that. And down there at the corner, a successful data hard reset is going to show you data wipe complete. And now we're going to need to reboot our system or to reboot our Note 10. So select or highlight the reboot system now option. Then use the side key to select this option to boot up your Galaxy Note 10 in normal mode. 
and this is going to boot up into the setup screen. So wait for that to happen. It might take a while, so give it a bit of time, be patient. And as you can see, my phone has booted up and for some reason uh, my welcome screen is in French. So we're going to change the language to a language that we all understand, which is English. So we're going to find English. and select OK. And now this is the welcome screen. So like I said, we're going to need to set up uh, our Galaxy Note 10 afresh. So tap on start, then agree to the end, u end user license agreement. Uh, or you can also agree to all the options. This is optional to you. But for me, I'll just agree to the end user license agreement and tap on next. Uh, you need to give permissions for Samsung apps and services, nearby devices, phone. So toggle on all the options that uh, you want to agree to, then tap on agree. And as you can see, because we bypassed the pin that we had forgotten, you're going to get this prompt. An unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings. Connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. So do that. So I'll tap on OK, then connect to a Wi-Fi network. Then I'll tap on connect. And once I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network, I'll now tap on next or it's going to go to the next step automatically. So be patient as you wait for that. So now you're going to be brought to this page where you're going to see the message, your phone was factory reset, enter your pin to unlock it. But now, since we couldn't or could not remember the pin, and that is why we went through this process in the first place, we're going to use this option, use my Google account instead. So this is the option you're going to tap on. And now you're going to verify your account by entering your email that is signed in to this phone. So enter the email, then tap on next. Then now enter the password to that email that you just entered. Once you enter your password, tap on next. And at this point, you're going to uh, be prompted to use a new account. So if you're a new user, you can choose this option. Or if you want to proceed using the account that is signed on to this phone, select add previous account. So for me, I'm going to choose the second option, use previous account. So at this point, you're going to be prompted to copy your apps and data. But if you do this, you're, not, you're going to be required to enter the PIN which you had forgotten earlier. So at this point, just select Don't Copy. And now, you, as you can see, your account has been added and with all your information, so tap on Next. At this point, you're going to need to select Don't Restore just in case you're going to be asked to enter a pin that you don't remember or might not remember. So select don't restore. Here under Google services, uh, toggle on all the options that you want to uh, Google services to do. Then select accept. Protect your phone. You need to set up face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin or password. You can skip this to do it later. Tap on skip. Skip protecting your phone, skip anyway, because we're going to do this later. 
you need to access your assistant with hey google so you need to set this up you can select i agree to set it up or skip to do it later let's just go through it quickly review additional apps so these are all the apps that will be downloaded over wi-fi you can select the ones that you want to allow and the ones that you don't so tap on ok after you select your apps getting your phone ready yeah you will also be asked to sign into your samsung account if you have one but you can also do this later so tap on skip select skip once again and now you're all set up so you can tap on finish and as you can see you're now back into your galaxy note 10 sim card manager you can uh, give these permissions later and set up the sim cards later once you insert them but that's basically how to remove a forgotten pin password or pattern now as the apps that you selected download in the background you can start using your phone without the pin that you had forgotten and now that's basically how to remove a forgotten pin password or pattern on your galaxy note 10 thank you for watching if you have questions regarding this video you can leave them down below don't forget to subscribe and share this video to those who might need it for more tips until the next video take care and god bless